Will Martin with God of Nations. Earlier, Teresa Tapp. God save the Queen. And it looks as though the two sides are crossing halfway. So, in fact, the All Blacks are going to play from left to right in the first half. So, amend what I said earlier. England will have the advantage of a slight breeze in that first half as we stand, down, stand by now for the Hucker. So the preliminaries are done. We're about to go. England, of course, have to shed their tracksuits first. And then we'll be underway in this 30th match between the All Blacks and England. A rivalry that goes back to 1905. And uh, this should be a cracking match. The first of two. A packed Eden Park. A magnificent rugby arena and conditions simply couldn't be better. Tonight's referee from Wales, Nigel Owens, and two Australians running the touch tonight, Stuart Dickinson and uh, Paul Marks, and another Australian, George Ayub, is the television match officials. Steve Porthwick, the captain of the side, and they're going to have a little huddle as if they haven't had enough during the week just before they get going. Well, it's psychological, isn't it? They just want to rev themselves up after the harker. Tony, I'm interested. How big is that breeze down there, if at all? Oh, it's there, Drakey. You can feel it. And it will give some advantage to their kicking game in the first half for sure, but it's, it's not a strong one. So the sub speech there for the All Blacks. We're left or right. Ollie Barkley is going to kick off. Now, the All Blacks weren't too good receiving kickoffs last week. Something that they've looked at during the week for certain. Nigel Owens checking ready, with both sides. Back, okay. ready? So the kickoff is signalled, and they're underway at Eaton Park. And this time they claim it uh, perfectly well, right near the 22. And England driving in hard and walking clean over the top. Boy, is that a sign of things to come. And the arm is out already. And England have gained the early initiative. And this is a good powerful start by England. All Blacks having to put them on the deck, but they're only 10 metres away. And they've got a penalty. Second offence, not through the gate. That was an emphatic start. Second Ominous, offense, wasn't it? Very low gate. body position. Second advantage is here. And you're right. The All Blacks got it cleanly, but they didn't get the numbers there quickly enough. Pimps the movement almost from the English team coming in from both sides. This is the end of it. It was too late then. The damage had been done. Here's Hall hanging on for grim death. Good start for England. Big Andy Sheridan in uh, number one. It's not an experienced pack of forwards, certainly when you compare it with the All Blacks. It's a big one, though, Nisbo. Some real hype in that loose forward trio. Haskell of Wast and Six. He's a big man. The number eight, Narraway's a big man. And, of course, as we've come to expect, Borth Borthwick and Palmer, two big locks. We know all about Sheridan. And they've made their presence felt already. So here's Ollie Barkley to give England the best possible start in the game. Looking to bring it round. Can't do so, though. 
And it's been claimed by Mili Aina, and he forces for a 22 dropout. So an early opportunity goes astray. Dan Carter from the 22 gets it up nice and high. Early jump by Palmer. The All Blacks get it through Tialata. It's there for Ellis. Fires it off. Now it's worked across. Bit of space for Smith. Moriaina looking to get on the outside. Snapped up by Nonu. Breaks the first tackle. That's the halfway line just to the right. And England uh, getting round the wrong side of the ruck. But uh, the referee lets it go. Now here's Brad Thorne charging clean over the top of uh, Tom Rees. Who doesn't look too good, actually. I think it is the hooker, too. Lee Mears, yeah. He was very wobbly when he got up. He was, We're too. We're going through the gate all night, Klaas. Not from the side, please, same as you. Didn't Not at all, number. man. He's solid, as you can see, but... Uh, an irrepressible charge by Brad Thorne. And maybe just a sign, Nisbo, of where the All Blacks think they can spot some spaces in midfield. Mears was there, but if they get big players running at their midfield, I think there might be some space. Have a look at the contact here. Oh, down he goes. He was very wobbly when he got up. Don't position yourself in the pillar position as well, please, OK? Some courage in the country. Just key man in their pack too, Nisbo. Mears. He's a lively player with ball in hand. Andrew Hawes, first line-out throw of the evening. And uh, Jerome Kano hauls it in. Tialata charging. Good stuff here from the All Blacks. Now they drive it on through Kano. Trying to hit England right up the centre. Williams. Oh, the ball spills loose. And uh, away goes Hodgson. And the advantage is over as he gets the long kick downfield and makes the clearance into All Black territory. Unforced error from the All Blacks. There he is, Ali Williams. He won't be happy with that. It was a classic, almost old-fashioned Willie away off the back of the line-out. And it goes up, but Tialata went around the side. Good body position early on, Tony, from the English team, aren't they? They're very low. Yeah, they've been working hard at their forward defence and their forward uh, drills. In fact, uh, one or two of them have even mentioned out of the side of their mouths that maybe they might have trained a bit too much over the last 10 days. Four throws. Not uh, quite the distance required. And England have got one against the throw. Wigglesworth at halfback. Asking a few of the forwards to peel off. And me as it is, so he's well recovered from the knock he took. Lays it back for Wigglesworth. Now it's handed on by Hodgson, giving the ball a bit of air. Tackle by Tortabaki. And uh, welcome to test for David Strettel as across the touchline he goes. Big defence by Tortabaki. Spot tackle had to be made. That's the beginning of it. Pretty successful last week. Brad Thorne at line out time. Not so first time tonight. Wait, Dorpin. That's a beauty. Right into the mid drift. Williams making the calls. Sotialo beautifully dragged in. It was up fairly high, but the All Blacks have got it down to ground. Four and McCaw, the two of them. Matt Stevens in there to make the tackle. Now Tialata, strong enough to spin out of a couple of tackles. Sheraton coming in from the wrong side. Referee right in front of him. That's twice. Now Carter lobs the reverse kick in. Tortabaki again nails Strittle. A nicely worked move, that one. But it looks like England will get it back. Really got to watch the entry into the rucks here, this referee. Someone put their hands on the ball, so the All Blacks all come as one. Fullback is in there. Mike Brown. Now Wigglesworth in position. He might have to kick himself here. 
Puts it onto the left boot. Carter waiting back. Strettle there as well. And in the end, he got nailed in a pretty good tackle by Tom Palmer. Well, a lot of talk before the game about the English forward pack, and you've got a feeling that the All Blacks say, well, we're going to take you on. Psychological battle at the moment. A lot of pick and goes. The defence has been pretty good from England, but the All Blacks, they'll be determined, won't they, to just break the line a couple more times. They're lucky not to be penalised there, surely. Dan Carter still in the air when he was challenged, but two thumping tackles here from Anthony Tui Tavaki. Big up, please. I just wonder whether that might put some thick second thoughts in the English backs about moving the ball wide. Kevin Mialamu on briefly for uh, yep. Bloodburn, I think, Tony. Yeah, Andrew Hawke. So now Lee Mears to throw to this England line out, which is uh, five men. And the All Blacks disputing it. Tip back on the England side, though. And they move it out into centre field. Ball is under control for Wigglesworth. Keeping it low. Should bounce here for now. It's nicely done. Got away from Turtavaki. Not much he can do about that. The kick was made by Barkley. And so the line out will be All Blacks. Well, a fascinating start to the game. We've only been going seven and a half minutes. And Nisbo, you talked about the entry into the ruck in the mall, and you're absolutely right. The referee showing a fair bit of leniency, and it's gone both ways. Already McCaw, I think, picked up on that, and you'll see him really attacking that area. Mialamu then on as a temporary replacement, so his line-out throw is over the top and not straight. Straight, lads, turn it up, please. Well, he's ruled it not straight. It might have been deflected by the man at the front, which made it look as though it was not straight towards the back. Yeah, it, it was thrown again, but I think it was on the angle that it actually came in. Well, if he's ruled that, that's a tough call. You see the English really closing up the line out, the space down the middle. You mentioned before, Tony, they've got a tall line up. They're going to take the All Blacks on, aren't they? Yeah, Palmer's the man doing a lot of challenging at the front. Coach. Andrew Hall's back on. Touch. Pause. Engage. <laughs> So we've got a good uh, view here of this battle in the first half between Andy Sheridan, loose head prop for England, and Greg Somerville, tight head for the All Blacks. Yeah, and if the pressure's on Somerville on the opposite side, Tealada and Andrew Hall will be having a real go at Stevens, and look at that, they have too, and he's done reasonably well, Stevens, to hold up. It's not tidy, though, for England. All Blacks trying to walk over the top of this, but I think Auckland, at least uh, England, have just moved them back a little. A real tangle of bodies, but it will be there. He's got it, finally. player on top quite clever play from England you'd have to say static ball wasn't it from the first more then they just put the numbers out wide tried to stay on their feet and look at that they're right over the top of some or very hard for him to get out of that manipulated by the English you'd have to say cleverly done so yeah, they're very well organized Drakey that's been their strength might not be an expansive game when it's rugby form, but it's well thought out. A lot of pressure on Matt Stevens at their last scrum, and it'll be interesting to see how he goes. That's the guy they want to target. I don't know how easy it's going to be for teams to get quick ball at ruck time tonight, though. This time he's guided it through. So England get the first points and lead by three to nil. Yeah, Richie McCall talking, asking the referee about the gap in the line out and the ref saying no problem. Carter's kick. 
Waiting for this is Narraway, the big number eight. Took it nicely and flicked it straight to Wigglesworth. And the clearing kick made by uh, Barkley. Eleven minutes gone, first half. Quickly taken by Hoare. Gave it to Tialata, who tried to give it back. Here's the ball. Goes to McCaw. Looking to stand in the tackle. Lays it back. Ellis gets knocked away from the ball. England to better body positions. They were lower. And they might have uh, got this. All Blacks not getting numbers there. standing at the back of the ruck clapping his hands he might be better off getting in there and trying to help out great body position from England again look at this McCall's there a lot of numbers too a lot of white shirts there Tony and they just push over the top well whether they've got the ball or whether they haven't got it they're going in in pairs and just on the angle there we just saw Brad Thorne he came in virtually from the wrong side had it been super 14 he would have been penalized straight away so it's working both ways Another good scrum by the All Blacks. Narraway's under pressure. Black shirts, plenty of them. Ball comes back. And penalty. Well, early scrums are encouraging. Oh, yeah, Tialata, he nailed Stevens then. And then McCall came. Number eight took the wrong way to go. It was a set move. They always thought they were going to go that way. Tough. Look at this. McCall's there. Flicks it back. Well, hits an English player. That's enough for the penalty. Well, there's a sign of the physical intensity. No prisoners being taken out there, that's for sure. Just on the off chance, there might be a blood bin. John Swagger on his feet. I'll tell you what, Tealato won't want to go anywhere at the moment. Stewie, tell me again, mate. What do you see, buddy? First kick for Dan Carter, about 45 metres. Shortly struck by Carter, and it's 3 all. The great response from the All Blacks. Intriguing, isn't it? We thought the English scrum would be dominant, and we'd be better in the loose. It's a wee bit of the reverse at the moment. Early days, though. from halfway Williams under it again this time the All Blacks better organized Ellis Carter nicely controlled by Narraway Mulyaina lines this up five out from the 22 right in center field it's there for the All Blacks the man threw offside, not for the go, first go, go, go. time, it has to be said. But this time he's been pinged. And it's the fullback, what's he doing there? I am not, no, 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 50-50 or not, I'm not going to penalise this all night, okay? You get to the gate, you keep a tap in and clean, off you go. Well, fullbacks have never heard of the gate, have they? No, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say, it's safe to assume he won't do it again. <laughs> in fact, he won't go near a ruck if he's smart. Oh, that's not a good kick. Oh, you might get away with it. No, he doesn't. Ojo out on the right wing side. Stay. It's going to drift into the arms of Muliaina. Puts the little kick in, looking to land it. Taken by Tyndall. Heading across field. And uh, this is not a bad looking kick. Carter's having to scramble back. Ojo getting to him. Uh, he deliberately didn't kick it out, buying a bit of time. Now England from inside their own half, looking to bring it back at the All Blacks. 
charge by Sheridan. Three or four of his mates there joining him. This is good stuff. It's fantastic, bro. McCaw got in. I think he might have grabbed it. No. Now it pops back to uh, Reese. On it goes to Tyndall. Grabbed by Williams in the tackle. England throwing plenty at the All Blacks. Wigglesworth waiting, stabbed through, straight into the arms of Sivivatu. The All Blacks back in control of it, and it's with Alice. Coming across here is fullback Mike Brown. Long sequence of play, this. Williams waiting back for the Brown kick. Oh, no, it was Hoare. Brown's got it. It's been knocked on by the All Blacks, so he's playing advantage. And England have got a chance. If they keep shifting it, they've got a chance. Reese. Now here's Stratton. Not sure that he even forced it. The ball was definitely lost. Ball was lost, and I'm pretty sure he was in touch anyway. Yeah, and he's not, he knows it too. Time out. He's got to check it, though. The ball was definitely but lost. But the All Blacks might have dodged a bullet here. Can you check who's in touch or touching goal first, please? Okay, so you definitely lost it, you're saying, but you want to check it looks if he's... like he definitely lost it, yeah, unless you okay, tell me... Okay, see whether he's in touch first or in goal. goal yeah. Okay, thank you. No real confidence being shown by the English players. Boy, a big mistake made by Andrew Hoare, though. The best they can hope for England is he goes out first. If he's in touch first, there he is there. Touch the line before the flag, they might get a line out. Well... Under the old laws, the corner flag is uh, touch and goal. Yeah, I'm wondering about his foot. Does it, does it touch that there before he hits the flag? Touches the line first. It's a line out. Afraid to say that after a very promising start, it's starting to rain too. So the Nigel umbrella's George, coming yeah. up yeah. as uh, they check this. Nigel, he's uh, touched the touch line before he's gone over the end goal, so Rain he's gone out first ball, before he's yeah. lost the ball. Rain yeah, line ball, out. Yeah. Correct. I just wanted to check was Rain at 22. It's a line out, lads, OK? It's a line out, black ball. Get the ball, the ball off. Well, that's as close as anybody's come to scoring a try so far in the game. 17 minutes gone. Three all. And a difficult line out here for the All Blacks. Sotiala was taken out of that. And uh, the referee, it's fair to say, is liberal. As Narraway puts his head down. Time out. And uh, hello, Stu Dickinson's coming in now. I think he might report this. Four white players pulled him down, which was why he couldn't get to it. Dangerous play, is it? Against white. Okay, dangerous play against White, pulling down on the line out. Yes, that was fairly obvious, I think. It was Soyalo who was dragged down. Just have a look at him, he's near the front of the line out. He goes early. Yeah, and it's the arm, isn't it? Comes up and gets him. They're closing that line up out very quickly, the English. The English won't remember Stu Dickinson uh, with any fondness. Remember, he was the man who reported Simon Shaw here. The last time England were out, had him sent off. Nice throw this time by Hoare, taken down by Williams. Yeah, not straight. Not straight. That's Bit of talk straight. down there, Tony. Sorry, Miss Bo. English skipper. Steve Bothwick, he was having a lot to say. Yeah, well, that's nothing new. It's a, a tactic they use, Drakey, to great effect. Look at him there, pleading for the decision. It's going to be a hold-up here. Tialata is down on one knee. Okay, give me the big gap on their ball as they're doing on your ball. If it's not there, it's a free kick. It's like a hand problem. Yes, sir. Very near thing here. Andrew Hoare had this lined up, but he lost it. And England were just about able to convert that into a try. And I think it was Kano who got across, isn't it? Yeah, Jerome Kano. Classic number eight play. Yes. 
Corner flagging. Stay in the middle for the ends well. Crouch. Touch. Pause he gets middle end. Probably can't see it on the screen, guys, but there's drizzle falling here at the moment. It, it's not too bad, and you get the feeling it might just be easing off. Crouch. So, referee's gone on the other side. He's gone to see what's happening on Stevens versus Tialata. And Sheridan pulls out of that because they had an unstable scrum. Front six, come here, please. Time out. Just the front six, boys, as you can go. Well, yeah, he pops we straight out. With this in the chain rooms, Fair okay? enough. All right. I told you I wasn't going to guess anything, but I will deal with the shoes. You are not listening to the scrimmage the both sides. Either get your house in order, or somebody's going to be sitting on the side for 10 minutes. Yeah. Understand? Then you get. Is he a school teacher in this place? <laughs> right. That's on the middle. He's a call. singer, I know that. Touch. Crouch, sorry. First crouch. Touch. Pause, engage. <laughs> well, he had to pick on somebody, so it was the defending team. And off goes Narraway. All the way, Tans! Oh, Richie McCoy. Clearly not the tackler, and you were experienced enough to know that you come through the gate. Be quiet, please. No, you're not. The tackler was 10. I've given them their warning. It's now your warning. Any more, bin. Back. Well, I wouldn't mind to have a look at this again, because it looked bad to me the, when I first saw it. Well, there's McCorry. is the tackler. He gets up, and he goes and plays the ball. He's facing the wrong way, that's for sure. And that's why he's complaining. He's saying, I had rights. Yeah, how do you define not the tackler? Yes, I think he got that wrong. McCall was the initial tackler. Carter came over the top. It looked bad, though, because of the position that he was in, wasn't he? He was actually behind the English player who'd been tackled. And that's why I think drew the referee's attention to it. So here's Barkley looking to give England the lead back. Two penalty goals now for Ali Barkley. One by Dan Carter, six to three. And we're halfway through the first spell. Not a lot in it, but England are getting to play the game the way they want to play it. All Blacks aren't able to get the ball through their backs. All Black line out and breakdown being put under pressure. Carter's kick a little deeper this time. Not controlled by England. Ball stolen off. Andrew Hoare tried to drop the pass out. Now it's with Thorne. And the All Blacks have this one. Inside the 22, deeply inside the 22. Kano bounces out of a couple of tackles. Now they go onto the blind side through two to Tabaki. Trying to drag England right across to this touchline. I think the referee might be playing an advantage. Williams. He's got the arm out, so yes, he is playing an advantage. Carter. Carter puts the little kick in. Here come the chasers. Well, the finisher. And you're right, they dragged the English across. They'd already got the penalty. They came up very flat, England in the backs, and Carter just did enough to put it in behind. They needed the bounce, they got it, and they get the try. A lot of black shirts. Beautifully weighted kick. And Smith with the confidence to snap it up. And uh, across he goes for test try number seven, and a very important one. Well, right into his arms. 50-50 ball, very hard, well impossible to defend against actually. All Blacks in front for the first time in the match. And uh, Carter looking to increase that lead. 
which is now 10 points to six. Oh, the old Rod the Queen, the old Australian coach said, if you win the, if you don't win your kickoffs, the other team will score, and that's what happened. England, they had all their numbers there, they bobbled it at the kickoff. All that's got it behind them. It just bounces up perfectly. He couldn't have got it any better. But the damage was done before that. Yeah, Mick Tindall very slow to turn. It was a deft kick by, by Carter. And what an expensive turnover by England from the restart. Now the All Blacks have to be tidy at kickoff time. Barkley kicks it. Williams waits, claims it. Oh, that's a horrible kick by Ellis on his left boot. He might have got it back, though. And Carter, who's somewhat better on his left boot, he kicks it off downfield. Brown waits. Narrow way, the big number eight. Down he goes in a heap. Made an extra couple of metres, though. Now Wigglesworth across to Hodgson. OJ has to tidy up. Till Tabaki out on the left wing side, even though he's in 14. So Sivigato has come to this end of the chain, this near end of the chain. Now Williams slings it wide. All Blacks attacking. Muliaina. Smith took the tackle. There were too many on Sivigato, so he decided to take it in. Now Ellis to Nonu. Nonu, lovely pass. Got it away to Hoare. Not too many black shirts there, though. And the All Blacks having to get in and help out. Greg Somerville's going to be halfback. Slings it wide to Carter. Awkward pass. Has to tidy up. Got away. Just in England territory. Now it's Thorne. Going in ones, though, the All Blacks. Just lacking support. And a bit too lucky to get away with it. If they get this back, oh, they get a penalty as well. Yeah, very lucky we though, Thorne. He was on the ground. You all thought the English had rights to the ball. You through the gate, and then you played him here on the floor. Off you go. Yeah. He's been quite prominent, hasn't he? Luke Narraway. Just in his fourth test match today. And a chance now for Dan Carter to increase the lead. The difference that's just come over this game is that the All Blacks have got a bit of ball. They've been able to lift the pace. Sellout crowd at Eden Park. Wonderful sight it is too. Edging up towards 700 test points now, Dan Carter. <laughs> Certainly on target tonight, Carter. Landing his second penalty goal, and the All Blacks out to 13 points to six. Yeah, that's important. This is where it happens here. So we'll get this turnover. This is, this is way back. This isn't where the penalty was. The game just starting to free up a little. It's been tied up till now. Barkley's kick is a wobbly one. Sevi Bartu. Oh, it's too far. Clever enough to keep his foot in touch. Now, the All Blacks could take a line out if they wished. There are a few things could happen here. But uh, they've gone back for the more conventional scrum they could ask for another kickoff which hardly seems uh, worth having come down a bit sooner as oh, well, no, okay. not the way they're scrummaging at the moment the other key in the lead up to that step penalty back, was actually a very poor pass come, come, by Hodgson they had a, about a three to one overlap on come, the right and he managed to pass the ball behind his fellow uh, England backs that is what gave New Zealand the turnover and the chance to counter-attack touch pause and get in 
All Black scrum is good. Kano to Ellis. Quick hands. Away it goes to Smith. Smith into the gap. Right down to the 22, Conrad Smith. England getting the player in there. And uh, the referee saying the ball was out. And uh, he's blind his whistle. Touch judge didn't put the flag up. Oh, you saw the flag went up. Sorry, just knocked it. All right, OK. Yeah. Oh, so, dear. Yeah. Cross forward, wait for the This is not great, is it? Lovely yeah. break from Smith. That's the right thing, too. Just waits for the cavalry arrival they came in the side well it's here and scary stuff and then the english team have knocked it on all blacks had the ball already and now they've got the scrum sure this time we'll be trying to wheel the side up on someone let's just see how someone will go good hit good scrum kano gives it off to ellis ellis drops it up to Sibby Bartu. Chance it was solid enough for the All Blacks to do a set move. Bit of deception, but once Sibby Bart had broken the line, look at this. They're over the advantage line there. Missed the tackle. Easy stuff for Carter. All Black bench delighted. Sibby Bartu so elusive, and he just offloaded. Dan Carter brings up 700 test points. And suddenly the All Blacks have established a very big lead here. And it should increase after this conversion. Yeah, clever play. Ellis took the uh, loose forwards away, took them wide. That gave Sibibata the inside channel. Then it goes wide again to Carter. Hard to stop when you've got that precision. But I'll say it again, it was a great scrum from some of it. No All Black has ever scored more points against England than Dan Carter. He's just taken over from Andrew Mertens. Nice move off a powerful scrum, and really the culprit for England was Barclay. He just didn't know which way to look, and suddenly that England midfield defence is starting to look quite ponderous, and a bit of the stings got out of the England forward pack as well. Man in front there for sure, but the referees let it go. Maybe he's feeling sorry for England. That was ridiculous. Keep it up, Sam! Stop that season, yeah? Keep it up. Away, Lance. Ellis again drops the kick in behind. Bounce. Oh, a big collision. Players falling all over the place. England getting numbers back. And getting penalised. Rob Andrew looking He's on his feet. concerned. Go. Off you go if you want. I'm just wondering what the look on Martin Johnson's face will be across the other side of the world. You can always turn the telly off, I suppose. Yeah. Well, a wonderful right kick place to be. In a collision, players isolated. It was a nasty collision, though. And one of the English players, and it's uh, Luke Narraway, is uh, on the deck. Players going to continue, though which usually has the effect of getting the injured player very quickly. Okay. All Blacks will. I think they might just try for a short line out here, get it off the top, set something up in midfield. They sent, sent the kill at the moment. Williams claims it. Sotiano has it, looking to rip it away down the blind side. Five out from the 22. Somerville. Now Williams. Didn't really have much of a way on there. Going to work the blind side, Ellis. Although the uh, opportunity might be lost here for the moment. Ellis hands it off to Kano, who's been strong tonight. And hello, he's gone to the pocket. England are going to lose a player here. Rock and roll, these are late. You're not listening. Off you go, please. Tackle a bit of tackle. No attempt at all. Off you go. Well, it's Andy Sheridan. 
So he will sit it out to half time and a little bit longer. Which will mean a rearrangement. I'd like to see him a loose forward off to bring a prop on if there's a scrum. Looks a bit confused, Andy Sheridan. Boy, this guy doesn't have a lot of luck when he's playing New Zealand teams. When the Lions came here, he came here with a huge reputation. He, he got sinbinned in the game against the New Zealand Maori for a, well, a sort of a punch on one of the Maori players that wouldn't have hurt a fly. And he never got back on the field, and that was pretty much the end of his tour. And now he's on again, off again. Another three points for Dan Carter. Another three points for the All Blacks. 23 points to six. They're in territory and possession. They're really starting to swing New Zealand's way now. You know, 60 40 each way for them. A few minutes ago, England had dominance in both areas. So it's turned a bit. England will be desperate. They've got to get some points before half time. The All Blacks will want to put another nail where they should be going. It's going to be difficult for them with 14 players, of course. Kickoff is made. McCaw has it this time. And the all-black captain driven back just near his own 22. Ellis. Carter again. Narraway once again has been hanging back. Quickly hands it off to Brown. Oh, no decisiveness in that running. Just edging his way up to halfway, waiting to be tackled. Now the kick. Moliaina waits. Strittle and uh, Tyndall were there. But the All Blacks well organised now. Carter shifted away to Nonu, looking to have a bit of a go. Nonu almost got through. Now Ellis. Good burst here by Andy Ellis. Just couldn't find his inside support. And uh, England have it. Although well, they've driven towards the touchline and have lost it forward. So the All Blacks are going to come and have another go. Sivi Vatu. Bounces out of one tackle. And decides to set it again, Ellis. Happy to use that uh, blind side with uh, Ali Williams. Ellis again, this time through Somerville. Gets hammered in a good tackle by a couple of Englishmen. And this time Somerville doesn't see. release. Holding on, he's on his feet, no ruck formed. Tucklet gone. And he's tough Can in this area, here? this referee. And he, Sorry, George. It's a bit of a lottery both ways, really. Under five minutes, yeah. I'm a bit confused. I wonder how the players are feeling. Oh, Ellis is smiling. He thinks it's okay. A break there. Well, he probably should have hung on. And he's super critical. On the, on the five, yeah. On the five, whatever you're confused. Yeah, well, some of it is holding on. Dan Carter scored 26 points for the All Blacks against England at Twickenham in 2006. But not yet at half time. He's got 18 already. to the 22 we go with still about three and a half remaining to half time right next one takes out huh? I'll have to get an agent after that England not controlling it again to it to back he does a good job claims the loose ball now it's with McCaw driven back by Narrowa Ellis waiting though. Stay up, right, stay up now. 
Again, they have numbers. Nonu. Quick hands. Kano. Lovely. Thorne. Opens up for Brad Thorne. Decided not to make the pass. Ellis is in there quickly as they shift it again. Carter. Carter keeps going. Tries to hand off Narraway. Carter. And intercepted by OJ. Must score down the other end. Well, Willie. Willie yeah. Aina is travelling. Willie Aina on OJ. And he gets there. It could have been a try at the other end. Instead, England get one. Oh, absolutely. 14-pointer. Well, it might not be with the conversion. But I thought Carter had him cut to pieces. He went for the pass. Mulyani, well, he's blown up. He's not happy. It's, you know, he's back at halfway, getting some treatment. They had him blown apart, the All Blacks. The last pass. This bloke here, well, he took his opportunity. This was lovely work, wasn't it? Now, from this ruck, the English midfield defence rushed up very quickly. You can just see them come up there. That Hodgson, and that created the space for Carter. And, well, look, two players on the outside, Simi Vardu and Smith. One English player, he takes his chance. I almost thought that Mulioni was going to drag him in. Hug the touchline, gets the try. Just what England needed before half time. And they picked it up with 14 men on the field, remember? So a big confidence booster for the England England side just before half time. 23-11 and Barkley from the sideline. Well, it looks all right. What a kick from Ollie Barkley, 23-13. And how desperate were England were all their players back at halfway when that kick went over, they all clapped. Well, this is really well taken. The man of Nigerian ancestry, born in England, plays for London Irish. As uh, play gets underway again. And England not doing a very good job from the kickoff. Wigglesworth puts it high. The siren has already sounded as uh, Carter takes it. All Blacks could attack here, and they will. Molly Aina stabbing the kick through, and England will accept this, I reckon, and get rid of it. And the All Blacks, well, they probably should have shifted it, but boy, it's been quite some 40 minutes. England playing the last eight minutes with only 14 players, but we've had two tries to one in the first half, and the All Blacks lead by 23 to 13. All black bench not required so far. Oh, we had a brief appearance from Kevin Milamu. So the All Blacks happily back. They have got the easterly breeze behind them in the second half. And as Wayne Smith said at halftime, they'll be looking to play the game down England's end of the park. So just looking at them run back, it doesn't look as though Rob Andrew has made any changes at halftime. Again, just 14 taking the field for the first couple of minutes anyway. The referee's been an interesting character, Nigel Owens. Yeah, he has, hasn't he? Dominant at the ruck and the mall with his decisions. I have to say, I've been a wee bit confused, but I guess if he's consistent, I don't know, it'll be interesting to get the talk after the game. But he's had an influence, you'd have to say. Right, second half with uh, Dan Carter kicking off. England receiving, and uh, their captain goes high and drags it in. Doing a better job than the All Blacks did at the start of the game. England will be conscious that for the next two minutes they somehow need to keep this nice and tight. But the All Blacks edging them back. It's trapped in there by Tom Rees, but now they get a little momentum. Sheridan looks on. Wigglesworth fires the pass, and they weren't expecting it that far. And the kick is made, and uh, Subivatu lets it go. That uh, pass from the halfback came as a surprise. 
Yeah, it was. It, well, he was outside the 22 at that stage, so he didn't have much choice. And Ali Williams did good job, just unsettled them all either. Coming off the structure, the All Blacks will get the throw in. Going shortish. McCoy out in the backs. Five man line out for the All Blacks. Kano is short, Williams behind him. And Bradthorne has gone to the back. Oh, he tried to get a hand on it, but couldn't. So a poor line-out throw, and England have the ball. Wigglesworth. Hodgson across to Barkley. Tuat Tavaki. He hasn't really had much uh, ball in hand, Anthony Tuat Tavaki. Got it away to Muliaina. He lobs his kick downfield, but it uh, will be easily marked. 14 on me, please. Andy Sheridan inside the last minute as uh, Mike Brown unleashes uh, his kick. So when they get him back, they'll be they'll have done pretty well. That's if they survive this next set phase, which is a line out. Well, it's one area where the All Blacks haven't done as well as they would have liked to, I think, at line out time. That one's better. That's a much uh, more simple application as it goes short to Thorne. Now here's four, twisting and turning. England player diving through on the ball. Ellis to Carter. Nonu busting. Manu. Where goes Nonu? Now looking to lead. Beautiful pass. And Molly Aina scores. Super stuff from Manu. Absolutely outstanding. I'll be interested to see that. Well, I don't even, I don't even think you can describe it as defence from the English team in midfield. It was zigzag at best. But it was a finish which was so important. So often the player can get through there. He loses his support. Nono takes the pass. All of the is they're up in a zigzag. And yes, well, that's just woeful defence, isn't it? Punched the night, I don't know, three of them. Lovely punts. Nothing wrong with him. Flat at best. Great try. Well, they put a lot of faith in this bloke, haven't they? Ma'anonu. And in days gone by, he might have tried to complete it himself. Well, that's what he's done this year, isn't it? This bow. He's just got his distribution game going very, very well. That'll do him a world of confidence. Don't know what it'll do for the English midfield in confidence, though, Tony. Well, what it'll do, it'll tell Martin Nonu that he can run at Charlie Hodgson any time he likes between him and Ollie Barkley. There's a bit of a turnstile there at the moment. That's what he's in the team for, though, Drakey. around him he took the right option beautifully delivered pass too some people say it's a weakness in his game not when he passes like that England back with uh, 15 players on the field as Ojo tries to kick it and it's in in touch it'll be all black ball Sheridan's back on to say not much damage done not until the last 15 seconds line out taken by Kano now Sotialu busting away five meters away from halfway now Ellis Carter all blacks looking confident now Smith Muliaina but a space for Tui Tabaki hasn't had much so far good run by the right winger takes it into the tackle and England's doing their best to slow it down. Oh, I reckon the ball was out. Again, interesting interpretation. 
players lying all over it. Well, a couple of things there. Andy Ellis, I think, was complaining, and while he was complaining, I think the English went in and pinched it, and the referee missed it. But it is a shambles in that area. Both sides, to me, look a bit confused as to what's going on. Another badly missed tackle. That time it was Tom Rees, the open side flanker. Missing Rodney Sotoyalo. Good, that's good. Stay Sam! Now Ellis. Away for Carter. Bit of a no-look pass. Until Tavaki didn't quite find him. England, well, that's been knocked on cold. Snapped up by McCaw. Ellis brings it out. Now Carter. All Blacks must score. Manu. Something by two. Easy as that. Try number four for the All Blacks. Initial error from the All Blacks. England had to end up with the ball. They made the knock on. Again, they just didn't have the numbers. Are scrambling. There. Was that forward? The pass from Carter? I would have thought it was. This one here comes. That's a knock on. So they've got the advantage, the All Blacks at the moment. And there's just a foot race here. Hojo comes up. No chance. Sibi Vardu. Be interested to see what you think, Tony, whether that was a knock on from Carter. Look at this here. Well, this is the end of it. Well, he's kept up the record. Sidavini Sivivatu. Again, as many tries as he scored test, as he's had test matches. 23 tests, 23 tries. And Dan Carter, for the third time against England, has kicked 20 points. Oh, he's really on target tonight. And Tony, I think some changes. Yeah, life's not going to get any easier for England now. Two changes in the forward pack. Off comes Jerome Kano, who may have been uh, nursing a sore back. He's been replaced by Sioni Lawaki. He's in jersey number 19. And also a change at hooker, as we expected. Kevin Mialamu on in 16 for Andrew Hoare. Just looking at that, I have a suspicion that that was a forward pass from Carter at best. All Blacks not controlling it. That's bad. As England gets some initiative from the kickoff. Now the All Blacks forced to defend. They weren't decisive from the kickoff, and uh, England have got an opportunity. Sheridan puts the head down. Now Wigglesworth. They've got to give the ball some air now. They're too far behind not to. Smith copybook tackle as always. Smith's come right through the middle, which he's entitled to do, and yep. Well, the problem England had, they had players there, but they're all on the ground. Didn't have a halfback, but yeah. Rob Andrews going to make a change. Can't live with Harley Charlie Hodgson anymore, and he'll go off. He'll be replaced by Jamie Noon in 21, and so presumably Ollie Barclay will slot into the first five or fly half position. Let's have a look at this here. So he's saying the English player's playing it on the ground. See that, that hand in there, and that's what he got him for. So the change is made, and on comes Jamie Noon. And off goes Charlie Hodgson, who's had no influence in the game whatsoever. So Kevin Mialamu, his first throw is not too flash. And England benefiting here from a couple of All Black mistakes. Kick charged. And he was playing advantage. No, no advantage here. Under pressure on the kick, lads. So Ollie Barkley, yes, he slotted in at first five. We're not on the line here, okay? There's no advantage. Uh, there's a big moment coming up ten. for a young fellow very shortly. Nisbo, 
warming up on the sideline, ready to take the field in his first test in 18, Anthony Boric. And looks like Leon McDonald's headed for action as well. Well, now the All Black selectors feeling as though this game is running their way. And why wouldn't they with the score the way it is? Oh, so, and look at that scrum. And you've talked about it, Nisbo, that the English are going to have to throw the ball around. Well, I fear for them, the more they do, it's going to give the All Blacks more opportunities, particularly behind the advantage line. Look at this. That's, that's a great. Tialata would have been all on. Another good hit. Look at that. Stevens going straight back. Stay down. Stay there. Stay there. Now push back. Now the pass. Slinging it wide. Tyndall. Bit of open space here. But hesitation. Nonu gets in, makes the tackle. Now Wigglesworth. Oh, getting rid of it is like a hot potato. Wigglesworth again. Not looking terribly structured here, England. They're all over the shop. And it's a big tackling going in from the All Blacks. England being forced to play a game they're not used to, to be fair. Oh, knocked on. Now here comes uh, Ellis. They've got an overlap on this side. Tiarata to Nanu. Holds it up. A good tackle move. England might have got this. No. Too tight. Won't come back. He was on his feet playing at first. He was didn't move quick enough. Yeah, Nobody's fault. It's, it's real Russian roulette for England, isn't it? Chancing their arm. It's a dangerous business. I guess what's scary from England's point of view too is this is being played under the old rules. Now, here's the big moment, Tony. Anthony Boric on test debut. All black number 1,074. What a moment for him. Crouch. Touch. Pause. Engage. Scott, stay nice. Now Ellis for Carter. Smith. McDonald. Looked like a forward pass to uh, the waiting to it to Varky. Not called. So Leon McDonald snaps it up again as the All Blacks keep running. Williams lost it. And it'll be a knock on. No advantage coming. Just uh, maybe thinking ahead wow. a little too far. <laughs> he's, a, he's a great ball player, this bloke, and he'll be angry with himself. In fact, he just hit himself on the head. Now, that's not good. Second time tonight, he's dropped or bobbled the ball. With Sparks coming on, he swaps over the tight head side of the scrum. And the first chance we saw of that last time, the All Blacks put the ball and looked pretty good. England making a change at lock. On an 18 comes Ben Kay, the veteran from Leicester, replacing Tom Palmer. Crowd in very happy mood. The waves going around. Well, it's just Suddenly it things are feeling just a little bit better. Oh yeah, look at this pressure. Again, getting the hit on. You'd have to wonder psychologically what the scrum has done for the English team. They put so much hope with it, if you could say. And all Blacks haven't given them a chance all night. Tough night at the office uh, for Tom Palmer. The man who went to Otago Boys High School. So he'll know a bit about New Zealand rugby. Touch. Pause and get in. Hold the drive, lads. Oh, tough call. Well, he had to, I guess he had to ping somebody. So it was the All Blacks. Wigglesworth takes it into contact. England are going to get a penalty. Now Barkley sends it wide to Mears, so a big tackle on him. And England, all they can do is kick it. But they will get a penalty. Not natural ball runners, Drakey. It doesn't look quite right. No, well, to be fair, they're going back. They've been under pressure. 
They've lost their structure, which is understandable. With the replacements coming on, but it doesn't suit their game. They like to play a pattern. They like to go from set piece to set piece, and they're just not being allowed to do that with the aggression from the all back forwards. Although this is one area where they have done reasonably well on its line out time. Three against the throw. They'll get this throw in this time. And taking their time getting there too. Yeah, Drakey, we were told that this younger England pack was a bit more dynamic than some of its predecessors. Just really haven't seen it apart from those first 10 or 15 minutes when they looked pretty good. Once the All Blacks started getting some ball, the game changed. Right, let's see what the England backs can do. Mike Tyndall tries to bust his way through the All Black defence. Wigglesworth to Barkley. Narrow way, again standing wide. Now Barkley, Mears, all backs up very, very quickly. Off goes uh, Barkley, couldn't throw the pass, the man overran him. And fighting his way downfield goes Jamie Noon in the 21 jersey. Not really making much progress here, pretty much camped on halfway. Matt Stevens in number three, standing wide. He gets the pass. Wigglesworth scoops it back. Chase Barkley, chased by Carter, and down he goes. So they've lost 20 metres now. Boy, some of these England forwards are struggling to get back to. Now here's Ben Kay. Straight into Boric. Good charge by Narraway. Rob Andrew looking on. Nowhere for Sheridan to go. Oh, you just look at the structure of the back line. It's going out there now. They're zigzagging themselves. This time some ground made by Tyndall. The experienced man at uh, centre. So we're back to halfway. This has gone a long time, and England have gone pretty much nowhere. Ojo looking to get himself closer to the auction. England have still got it. Now, here's Narraway. He's been one of the better English forwards tonight. He held on too long, though. Well, that's a triumph, really, for the All Black defence. You need to tell him now that I've got the whistle. 16 phases by England, and they went back 10 metres. I think that kind of encapsulates what happens. Yeah. And you have to say that, sure, they're trying to run it, but it's one-off runners. The ball is very slow from the breakdown and that really gives the All Blacks a lot of time to regroup and get their defences working and what the All Blacks are doing they're, they're just rushing up you've seen guys like Ali Williams Greg Sumwell out in midfield rushing up putting pressure on the the guy who's going to get the ball for England they just can't react quickly enough they'd be better off kicking it to be honest I hope to say it Halfway through the second spell. All Blacks two converted tries since half time. Mialamu goes deep. McCaw can't get it. Narrow way again. Trying to hand off Carter. Get some help from Nonu. So the line outs from the All Blacks have been an area that's been not good. Now that's uh, everyone's on side here. Good play by England, but I think having said that, he lost it forward. Oh, that was forward, lads. Sheridan, yeah, he's trying to be a goalkeeper. Clutch it out of the year. It's a close call, but it's forward. All Blacks making a change at halfback now. Andy Ellis about to come off and be replaced by Jimmy Cowan, wearing 20. Well, good to see Jimmy Cowan back. Missed the World Cup last year.
no excuse to drop the stand in the scrum now, pick it up please, yeah? Get go, any problems, call. Pick it up, pick it up. Ah. Crouch, touch, pause, engage. Yeah. So Cowan gets to feed the scrum. Oh, tight hit. tight hit. Gee whiz. You don't see those very often. I think uh, the All Blacks have got to strike. Hello, referee's gone down. England have it, 10 out from their own 22. England happy to play this game at a slower pace as Tom Rees drags an extra metre. Well, they haven't got a back line, so there's only one thing they can do with this, and that'll be kick it. Well, you can see Barkley inside the 22. They come charging at him. And it's not going to go into touch. Two to Barkley. Again across to Carter. Quickly to Sivivatu. Carter gets it back. Taken at a good tackle by Barkley. And Stay on your feet, lads. England not staying on You're their feet. Yeah, I think they saw Carter on the ground. They thought we'll pile into this. Yeah, a bit unlucky, Drake. Yeah. So here they go now. So Iolo puts his foot down. Hangs on to it, just out from the 22. Yes, you don't see Mike Tyndall get bumped off like that very often. Oof, boy, that was some contact from Tui Tavaki. England have lost it, now Lowaki pops the pass, and he goes and drops it. I think it was forward anyway. Yeah, I agree. England will be pretty slow to get to the scrum, I suspect. Nine white. Bang, yeah, well, he went down low and Hardy yeah, came in. Hit, it was okay, Lowaki, I'm not sure. Yeah, that was a forward pass. So England making a change at halfback, Nisbo. Richard Wigglesworth off, and uh, Danny Kerr, who we've seen here in the past in the sevens, he comes on wearing 20. Man from Harlequins. Looks like uh, Joe Worsley on in 19 as well. So it looks like Rob Andrew is uh, throwing the kitchen sink in there now. Uh, Tom Rees is off. Eighteen minutes left at Eden Park. The game is pretty much stuck in England territory. Touch, pause, engage. Black one. If you don't bind the touch, you'll call and I'll penalise you. Bind up. You've been told. Oh, well, there you go. And to be fair, it's not a bad call. Pialato's got the hit on, but he's just crouch. got to get that crouch. arm up very, very quickly. Let's see if he does it this time. Can I ask you to crouch, crouch, please? Oh. Off you go. So, away go England. Through narrow away. Good tackle by Cowan. And England once again in possession, just on their own side of halfway. And it's a knock on. Game losing its shape a little here. Yeah, it sure is. Well, England have had a fair bit of the ball in the last 10 or so minutes. They haven't been able to do much with it. It's been the problem. And it would be fair to them too. The All Blacks, well, their line has been a bit shabby. So they want to get their hands on the ball a bit more and have a bit of continuity. England doing some good work before the ball goes in. Yeah, better scrum, wasn't it? Good hit. Look, Sheridan's down, though. Well, they want... Uh, they're quite concerned about this. Oh, yeah, well, we've, we've, when he went to ground... Scrum collapse where we got a clip. And just what Tony said a little earlier, this bloke has no luck at all against the All Blacks. 
So he's going to have to be replaced. And Stephen Donald looked like he might be getting ready. Yeah, doing a lot of warming up. In the meantime, Tim Payne from Wasps in 17 will be on for England. The blood bin, and I doubt we'll see Sheridan again. That looks pretty bad. Well, it's in a bad place, isn't it? Is that just below the eye? I'll try and put some Vaseline in it, maybe. So it's another fairly miserable night for Andy Sheridan. Eighteen minutes left in the test match. And Cowan snaffled by his opposite number, Danny Kerr, who's just new on the park. Now Lawaki, who he can't shake off the English forwards on his own. Now Cowan. Carter, or oh, I think they're in front some of those blocks, but it doesn't matter too much. At least it does. It's with Sivi Vatu. All Blacks haven't quite got the numbers there, and up goes the flag. Yeah, I think the midfield guys were offside. Well, they are definitely. At least four of them. Yeah. <laughs> And probably five if you include Sivi Vatu. You think the touch judges see that stuff in his back? Well, you wonder, don't you? Yeah. England taking time again. Line out time. Boy, there's been a bit of blood spilled out there tonight. Stephen Donald, anxious wait for him to come on. Just while they've. Blood's being mopped up. Yeah, he just said he had a, he's got a finger in the eye and he goes, he's got to throw the ball and so he's got to get that right. So Liam Ears from Bath. 23 tests, but 18 of those off the bench. So it's a rare chance for him to start tonight. It's a shaky throw. Neither line out operating that well. Now here's uh, Barkley fires it on. Tyndall. Copy book tackle again by Smith. All Blacks in hunting after the ball. And on intercept. No, come back. Uh, out. Touch jump to the Evans flag up. Tell you what, this is interesting. Just touched the line, didn't it? So, Mike Tyndall running for glory. Yeah, I'm sure they would have been excited at Buckingham Palace. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, He's got some first. royal connection, hasn't he? Yeah, he has, absolutely. He said trying to think of the name of is Zara, isn't it? Zara Phillips? Yeah, well, she had a bit of bad luck this week. I think her horse pulled up lame. She can't go to the Olympics, so never mind. Here's Sibi Vardy right out on the wing again, waving away. He's probably trying to suck the English defenders across. He might see Nono go for a bit of a gallop. Lewaki throws it off to Cowan. He's in touch as well. So the flag goes up on the far side. And the last 10 minutes haven't really been that memorable. Players been stuck pretty much in the same part of the field. No, I'm sure the All Blacks and their fans will be looking to finish the game off on a positive note. England, of course, will want to finish positive to give them something to take to Christchurch next week. Yeah, well, if you're going to be critical of the All Blacks in the last 10 or so minutes, they probably tried to rush things, hurry out a bit. But pretty hard when you're 37-13 up. There's still plenty of time to go, too, so it's not over. Mears. For England, he's got some new targets. Tipped by uh, Borthwick, kicked by Kerr. That's not a very good one. No real distance on it, and it's been snapped up by Nonu. So the All Blacks have an opportunity right in centre field with Cowan. He didn't see much happening out to the left, changed his mind, as so Smith has to take the tackle. Now Cowan for Carter. Quick pass, Lawaki hangs on to it. And ball has uh, been lost, charged, and he's gone with a knock-on. Oh, 
Ruskell in the tackle. He got a couple of charge downs tonight, Daniel Carter. He made an effort of it. Difference for me, Tony, just in that last couple of phases, the, the quick ball that the All Blacks get at the breakdown, and the English, well, they've struggled a bit, haven't they? They've just got it just a bit too slow, very hard to attack when that happens. That's a pretty good night's work, that, isn't it? Crouch. Yes, Touch. another tremendous Touch. effort. Again, yeah, again Tealata doesn't get his arm up. And that's what uh, they're saying. At the bone, please. Hit it up. Crouch. Touch. Pause. Engage. Hit. Awkward ball here for Danny Kerr. Kick being made by Brown and uh, safely into touch. So for one of the few times in the last 20 minutes, England find themselves in all-black territory with 13 minutes left at Eden Park. Quickly thrown by the all-blacks. Mialamu Tialata back to Mialamu. Now Cowan looks to offload, does so. McCaw makes ground. Quickly freed off. Away goes Cowan again. 10 metre line. Could be on the England side. Yes, it is. Now Kerr. Straight down, run on your feet, 18. All Blacks. Uh, We'll bring this feet, into yes. the corner, I would imagine, Drakey. Yeah, I think they want to. He's Richie McCall. Oh, no. Well, McCall saying, let's go. No, Williams, yeah, exactly. Williams off to Mialamu. They weren't really organised. Here's Boric. Nice off uh, hand to Williams again. Cowan goes reeling back. He's away. Now, Jimmy Cowan. Needs some support. Lays it back nicely. And it's been knocked Jeepers. off. But England had all sorts of things in the road there. I think he's just been given the word. That's a shocker. Oh, no, he hasn't. No, he's well, That's just a blatant foot trip. Taking it quickly. Carter to Sivivatu. All Blacks looking to speed this up. Sivivatu. To the 22 he goes. <laughs> And it's uh, gone into touch. Yeah, there's a bit of frustration, isn't there, out there? OK, here's the change Stephen Donald's been waiting for. On he comes in 21 to replace Dan Carter. What a moment. Good night's work for Dan Carter. And so Stephen Donald gets his opportunity. Mialamu throws. Williams towering above them all. Hands on the ball. So the All Blacks considering their options here. Yeah, I think the call's given the word. We've got a good line out there. Let's go for a rumble. Let's show these guys what we can do. But far out, so it's 10 or so metres they've got to go. It might be a long way. McCaw just laying down the law there. Just saying, come on, let's sort this line out out. Well, it's interesting. They're going to have a five-man, are they? So they're likely to go for the rumble. Let's have a look. England haven't numbered up here. They go short to Jimmy Cowan, but England have uh, read it pretty well. It's been knocked on by Nick Mialamu. Yeah, yeah, clever blocks. move, wasn't it? The core, isn't it great to see him just changing it around? Just trying to manipulate the English forwards. Ooh, just inside the five, you'd have to say. Touch! No 
another scrum goes down, another free kick is given. Now England, right out in front of their own goalposts. Narraway, once again, doing a lot of uh, carrying of the ball, the big number eight. Here's a Brown, the fullback, busting through the middle of the ruck. Now England moving it near their 22, Tinder. And always put it out. No, he hasn't. He threw his head back. I think he thought he'd picked it out. McDonald turns it in for Tui Tabaki. Oh, you can see that coming. Donald away for Smith. Smith pushing his way up the middle. Got it off to Nonu. Five metres on the All Black side of halfway. And uh, now the All Blacks looking to shift it again. McDonald stepping his way through. Somerville hit in the tackle, lost it forward. So England have it back. Here bangs it off. Now Ojo's coming pretty quickly here. Sivivatu getting across. Ojo! Topsy Ojo gets his second try. Well, he chased and he worked hard. I didn't think there was much on, but just like Smith tried for the All Blacks in the first half, the bounce went the right way. There was a nothing kick, you'd have to say. Everyone at home, just look at this. If you keep chasing, you get your reward. Bounces up perfectly for him. I think his father and his brother have come out to watch, and well, they'll be pretty happy they've come here. They won't be happy with the result, but they'll be happy with this bloke. Yeah, Sivivatu was just a little bit slow to react to that. Once he realised the danger, he took off, but he arrived too late. Conversion has been kicked by Barkley. So two tries for Ojo. The All Blacks have a man down. And I think it's Leon McDonald. Yeah, lovely bounce. Good on him too. Chase the kicks. Excellent. And that meets with some approval. Uh, McDonald doesn't look too good. No, it looks like he's taken a bump on the head. Keep hitting on your feet, please, yeah? Contact the area, keep on your feet. Okay, he's going to go. Ready? Time on, George. Carry on, yeah? I don't know whether he's going to stay on the field here. On, no, I think he's heading for the sideline. Referee wants to get on with it, but that's where the ball's going. All Blacks uh, have run out of back reserves. The only player left they can use is John Swalger. I think there might have been a collision here between Greg Somerville and uh, Leon McDonald. Oh, he yeah, just clips him, doesn't he, on the back of the head? Some of them. Another bad line out. That's one thing the All Blacks will be keen to improve on for next week. In uh, Christchurch for the second test. Now England lose the ball forward in contact. Oh, he's letting get away. Oh, I thought they lost it forward. Am I, am I dreaming? Seven by two. Barkley waits back. Nowhere to go for Jamie Noon. England have hung in there. Another partial charge. And uh, Lawaki. Ball goes again. Second time tonight. Now narrow way. As uh, England continue to attack. Matt Stevens. Lowered and a good tackle by Boric. Care for Brown. Ball has been lost. 
Smith looking to claim it. It's all over the place here. Tialata needs to bring it under control. Does so. And penalty goes the All Blacks way. Well, they won't be particularly happy the way they're finishing this game. No, and I thought Tialata was rather lucky there because he was on the ground. He was holding the ball. The English players were trying to get it off him. I've got a different interpretation from the referee. He's got the whistle, so he wins. A lot of handling mistakes, and to be fair, with that drizzle that we had early on the game, it is a bit greasy out there, but that only explains some of it, doesn't it? Yeah, well, line-outs and, I guess, offloads and knock-ons in the contact area, that'll be a couple of things the All Blacks will be looking at when they review the game. Leon McDonald uh, back on, on deck. Neil Amu. So Yano hasn't been used much tonight, strangely. Now here's Donald. Frees it up for Nonu. Quick hands to McDonald. Now it's uh, Tui Tabaki. Just got checked after he kicked it. Ball is loose. Nonu. And it's loose. And England have been penalised. Didn't play any advantage. Oh, no, he's busy getting the card out, Nisbah. Exactly what you do here on the floor, then on say, 10 minutes off you go. Well, what about the advantage, Lord? Yeah. Forget about the card. That can come later. Fairly perplexing refereeing display here. Well, the Allbacks have put it into touch. It'll be interesting to see if there might have been a... Maybe a knock on, yeah, it was a wobbly old kick. But again, the bounce of the ball tonight, it's been important. Well, he played with it on his foot. Oh, it was a knock on there from Richie McCaw to yep. go back. Yeah, well, that's why he did it, fair enough. So, three minutes left. All Blacks would love to finish with a try. They're on the back foot a bit here, though. England have uh, held up well. Cowan in there, wrestling it. Somerville, now McCaw, Somerville and McCaw together. He's got Lowaki in 19, standing a little wide of this uh, ruck. So Williams. All Blacks, backs waiting patiently out on this uh, near side. They may not see it though. And England, well, opportunity wasted. Yeah, well defended. I think the All Blacks were waiting to get Cowan off the bottom of the ruck so they could get a dis distributor. It never happened. He's on his feet when he's playing it from the gate. Barkley bangs the kick down fields, and Tui Tavaki can't keep it in. Bodies all over the place, really. Yeah, oh Could yeah. have gone either way. Yeah. As it has all night, really. So we're into the last minute of this uh, game. England. Williams hovering there, looking for the intercept pass. Now Stevens. Thrown to ground by Lawaki. Ball pops back. Joe Worsley. England still running. Good run by Reese. Didn't put him away initially. And they keep going. So they'll finish well to their credit, England. They've hung in there. Now Barkley. Strettle. Like to Tabaki, he hasn't seen much action. All Blacks hoe into this one. Oh, well, they fancy their chances of turning that over. And uh, there goes the siren. There goes the whistle. The game is over. And the All Blacks have done the job on England tonight by 37 points to 20.